Greetings, vloggers, vloggers, followers, and potters. Dustin here, and for Dustin's Dynasty here on another awesome day. It's Friday. It's always Friday when I usually uh, do my weekly vlog, and uh, this, this week does not stop any less. It's been a pretty uh, eventful fair week. Um, been a pretty good week weather-wise. We've had some awesome weather here in southwestern Pennsylvania. As evidenced by this sunrise this morning, taken by my mother at my parent at their home place, not too far from mine. Um, it's you know a beautiful day, a beautiful end to the day. Finish the week uh, today, having some ice cream on my front porch, and that just tells me that summer air is just out there and ready to get started. So you know, it's just it's you know a beautiful time for the summer. The weather is more becoming more apparent. Uh, we have rain on the horizon tomorrow, but the weather, the cold weather seems to not be there as often. So the spring weather is forthcoming and it's beautiful. So moving forward today, we're going to talk about growing up. And I have have several vlogs. If, if you search through my, his, my vlog history, and I've been doing vlogs since 2020, um, when I was let go of my first apartment and was in move in transition from living with my parents into being in my own apartment here uh, for over the past almost three years now. And, you know, some of those early videos when I would do them shorter vlogs, not so orderly um, from a bedroom in my parents' house where this photo was taken, um, talked a little bit about growing up and being an adult. And, you know, as more and more as time goes on, you know, I'm starting to realize maybe I do need to be work on being an adult more. Maybe I need to, you know, I think what we don't realize being autistic is, you know, we, we, we set goals in mind. We set ideas in mind. And when we do put them to fruition, we, we often think we can bounce back on our, uh, you know, what we have to, to survive on. And for me personally, a couple of weeks ago, reality hit where it is, you know, essentially necessary for me to have to work to uh, maintain the, the type of lifestyle that I want to live. Um, you know, it's not easy having to hear that. It's not easy knowing that you have to go through things that you may not want to or prefer to do or and really they're not challenges per se. I think my brain just makes them challenges for ruminating and acting like a little child because, you know, I think life's not fair. Well, let's face it, life isn't fair. And I have a hard time sometimes accepting and realizing that because I think, you know, just because somebody else doesn't have to do the same thing that I have to do in life, that I should be entitled to that as well. And, you know, I'm pretty smart and I'm pretty intelligent. And, you know, most of the time I can pass, I can mask it off and not think, you know, that I seem to handle everything well. And I do handle things well. I think from the, from, from a, from a standpoint as being out there as an autistic person, um, it's been almost, well, not quite, but almost two years since my last meltdown off out of my home. And I really haven't had any issues here. Um, but, you know, sometimes we don't like the way things are told to us. Sometimes we don't like to have to do things that aren't our favorite or are, are you know, are, are what we want to do. And sometimes it's, it's not what, it's not that it's, you know, bad for us. It's not that, you know, it's harming us or making us in a very uncomfortable position. I think it's just, sometimes it's just, reality that you know we have to do things and they're not hard they're very simple quite as a matter of fact at least for me anyway you know they're quite easy and they're quite they're quite magnificent but i think you know sometimes real you know it's 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 not that i don't want to do them it's just getting out to do them and then when something happens that we prefer that we do not like or do not prefer then we get all up in arms about it, or we just find ways to stab those who love us the most. And when I say those who love us the most, those who, who put up with it the most, um, you know, I have an inner circle of a couple people in inner circle and they always get the stabs. They always get my, 
venting end of when I don't mask, when I don't, when I don't, when I, I can, I can keep a mask up around 80% of the world, but that 20%, I get very, um, I don't say I get combative. I don't, I don't want to say that I get combative. I want to say that, you know, I, I argue, I get argumentative and I think, and I think that I, that I should run away from my problems or act like a child or act like a spoiled little brat because I don't, I have to do something that I don't want to. But in reality, I'm an adult and, you know, that's part of life. You have to do things that you don't want to do. And instilling work skills, you know, uh, is very important in life. And I've had jobs uh, since I was 18 in some capacity, sometimes, sometimes not. But um, I've been working since I was 25. I'm 30, be 38 here in a little bit in a couple of months. But I think sometimes, you know, we look at, we, we, we don't see, you know, we get into this pattern or this thinking, this mindset of thinking, um, you know, of, well, well, I don't have to, or, you know, I'm going to be taken care of, or I don't have to do anything. And, um, you know, I think it just sets us back. Um, I was home over the, the past couple of days uh, prior to today, and Sometimes that's a good thing and it gets you to recharge your batteries. But but I think it's, you know, it's, um you know, I have to keep engaged and keep going and keeping a list and, you know, always having something to bounce back onto um, should, uh, should anything, uh, should I have a, any lull time or any downtime? Because if I don't, if I have time to myself, um, that's when the ruminating, the challenging thoughts come about, the overthinking, um, all the things that I, the overreacting, all these thoughts that reality is where well, reality is just isn't there, and what I think is reality is is real is it's is is bad, but in hindsight it's not. Um, in fact, I'm I'm well taken care of. I have a pretty good life, and I could say not everybody has a pretty good life, but for me. I do, and here I am just boasting how horrible I think it is, but in reality, it's not. Um, you know, it's it's called adulting, and I, I write a blog about that on Mondays, and sometimes I write little pieces about adulting, but, you know, I don't really, I don't think I really, I'm starting to really realize what adulting is, and I think, you know, you know, it, it's called having a job, and being responsible. Yes, it's a job. Yes, it's 10 hours a week. But, you know, I need that to supplement my income so that I can live the lifestyle that I choose to live. Because I know with just on disability alone, I couldn't do it. Um, you know, I'm a I'm very responsible person, but I like to have a little extra things in life too. So, you know, that, you know, that means being responsible. And, you know, sometimes, you know, when you, you are, you have disability and you work, you're going to lose some government benefits. That's without a doubt. Um, it's pretty simple. You're going to lose some government benefits, but um, it, you just you just have to you know you have to it, it, you're better off ahead. They always tell me you're better off ahead um, by by uh, you know working. And in fact, I am. And I was honest, and I did report my earnings as such. And in my rent went up, you know, I think I reported, you know, the honest truth. And then, you know, it bounces, you know, the calculations are the calculations and you just have to accept what they are. Um, they're not always easy to digest. They're not always easy to accept. And when you're told that you have to do something, um, it's not always the kindest thing. It's not always the best thing. Um, it's, I think for any artistic person being told that they have to do something, even if it is something that they don't prefer, or it's not the the favorite thing. Um, it can present challenges in a behavioristic way. It can be very, um, you know, it's it's hard to accept. Sometimes we don't want to. We as autistic people, we like things to go our way, be very regimented, and go in the pattern that we want. Um, we we have to. I've had to learn over the course of many years that you just can't have everything your way. Um, you know, I am thankful I have a job to follow on for at least for some some support. And that the job is very well is a very nice job to have. Um, that I, I'm well taken care of and things are met and accommodations are met. And you know, things 
you know, in reality, they're, it's not that bad. But in my brain, in some moments, um, I think it's the worst thing ever and that I just need to run away from it because there's parts of what I have to be involved in that may not be my ideal favorite about it. And sometimes it's called adulting. And even though I write that blog every Monday called adulting, uh, it's hard to accept sometimes that I have to grow up. And it's, you know, you know, sometimes you have to take life in little strides and be happy about it. I think that's what I'm doing. You know, it's sometimes when I get into that thought and I ruminate and I obsess about things, I go to town on it and it can go for hours. And oftentimes uh, my mother, who I'll be very frank with, is the one who's always on the receiving end. And today, you know, I was I was doing that earlier today. And she said, you know, I'm out of support for you. I said, I said, at one point I said, you're supposed to be supporting me. And she says, I'm out of support. So you have to grow up. Well, yeah, maybe I do have to grow up. Maybe I have to understand that, you know, it's part of life that we have to do things. Yes, it's harder for autistic people. Yes, I get that. Um, but I am compensated well. I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't say compensated. I mean, I compensate myself well enough that I make time for myself. I relax when I need to. You know, I, I do the right things. I know what to do. I have all the calming tools, all the coping tools. You know, I work with a therapist. You know, I've I, I've I've known how to walk the walk for a very long time, people. And you know, it's it's very challenging sometimes, you know, when when you, you think you know it and yet you're so defeated by this one little instance when you get into things and it just and you run a town with you ruminate over and over thought things you know you can't change and can't make different and yet you still do it but i know today is a new day and any moment even if it's now you know at 7 45 on a friday night it is a new day and it has been and maybe maybe i rewarded myself with a little bit of ice cream because most of all, I am an adult and I have the money to buy the ice cream. So I went and bought the $3 ice cream and had it on my front porch today. And it made me feel good, you know, and, and then it helped me get into regulate myself and get back into routine for the evening and do the things that I need to do. And I will follow my list this weekend, keep up on it and do just keep busy. So that's the thing. Sometimes people say less is more, and sometimes less is more for some people who may not be able to withstand so much energy or so much pressure or so much uh, things to keep going. But for me specifically, um, it's something I need. I need that constant, that constant engagement, that constant keeping the mind flowing, because it's just so challenging sometimes. If I have alone time, then that's when thoughts ponder, and you know it keeps a mind, and it just rolls and rolls and rolls and it doesn't stop and that's when we get into trouble we start ruminating we start you know doing things and i have to say i am doing better because i, I normally at some point i would be reaching out to my therapist but i'm feeling that i can control it and get it back in to uh you know reel it in really good and get better so i'm doing better in some regard but you know and i just wish it wouldn't happen to my mother who has been dealing with it for a much more intensely, much more longer um, than I have than than others have. Um, in reality, I would never say those things to anybody other than maybe two or three people, and um, it, on, I would mask it so well that they wouldn't even know that I would even have a problem. Um, you know, and 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 then and, you know now I'm now you know now putting it out here and saying, well, it's not a it's not a problem, and it's not a problem. But my mind is telling me that it's a problem and it's producing these negative thoughts and this negative energy and just making my life feel so bad when it doesn't have to be, you know, and really it's just about growing up and doing what you need to do. It's about growing up and doing the right thing, you know, because nobody wants to grow up and do the right, do the right thing. I think whether you're autistic, neurodiverse or neurotyp neurotypical nobody wants to do nobody wants to get up and face reality and do the adulting things they have to do you know i think of things like you know going to a wedding or going to things that present more challenges and in fact i've been to many weddings or funerals or and some things and some things do present their challenges but uh, i can cope better with a one-time thing but when you're doing the same thing over and over and then you know 
not the hindsight too much, but I think with COVID setting it back and just all the things, challenges that come our way with that, you know, I think it's just, um, it's, it's just very compounding and, um, you know, just what we have to do in life. So, you know, I just think, you know, little, little, we, we grow and we, um, we move on. So, um, you know, it's just part of life and we move on and we make it a good week. I'm going to try to make it a good weekend and take care of myself here and try to make it the best weekend I can. I think, you know, I, I watched uh, Temple Grandin on, uh, on Wednesday, on Wednesday, a couple of days ago, um, she talked about her book, visual thinking, um, you know, and it, it was a very, it, it tells you how, how autistic people think and how they need to be accommodated in the workplace. Well, the same can be, a, a, can set, be said for at home, um, you know, maybe having this list that I can go to. And in fact, my therapist made one for me, uh, you know, uh, last week, and I'm really been following it really good. And it seems to help. Um, you know, it just really seems to be doing the right thing, seems to be working. And, you know, I think sometimes we have a little setback and everybody's entitled to setbacks, but we got to bounce back and make things better. So with that being said, I think I'm going to get off here and have a good weekend, but I hope you do all do the same and we'll catch at you later. Uh, be sure to uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest at Dustin's Dynasty on the web at dustinsdynastyusa.com. With that being said, I'll thank you for listening and be sure to have a good weekend. Take care of yourselves, stay safe out there, and bye for now.